I just wanted to add this little bit in the very beginning of this video. It wasn't in the lesson that we did at all. But I wanted to talk about how we progress through the stages of a particular structure. So let's say we're studying trains. The first thing we will do is build trains. And then we're going to build and we're going to add language to talk about it. So we have some oral discussion about the trains. Then we're going to build trains again and we will practice transforming them. Then we'll build trains and we will write symbols. And then we were going to build trains again and we will transform the symbols while looking at the trains. Then we will, the very end, we're going to uh, just transform symbols without looking at the rods. Now, towards the end of this video, you can see that I took the older kids through all six of these stages in one short hour. But the younger kids are going to, are just building. And then the older kids are, have oral language that we, we can talk about it. Then we added symbols. And then they co could be writing the symbols down. So you're still studying the same structure, but the, the, the older kids are working on a different stage of progression than the younger kids are. And the, as we just have to pay attention to where the kids are and move them through the different stages of progression through, through the rod structures. Okay, we're here. We got him at the table. Okay, so... So basically, this assignment is so the basic train problems. The only thing that gets a little bit sticky is that we've got some negative numbers in there. And normally, we wouldn't be doing negative numbers with the rods. This isn't what we, because we don't, the rods aren't calculating tools. So I don't know. They're not calculators. Uh, you can use them that way, but that's not, that's not the best way to use them. So what we're going to do is just how I would approach this if this were my kids. Like if I were sitting down and I had kids and I were coming at this new, knowing what I know. So does that help? Um, so the first problem that we have is 7x plus 3x equals 40. I don't care what it equals, okay? I, I, I could really care less. What we wanna know, because we have somebody who's not quite sure what's going on, is what the textbook is looking for is um, can we can we combine like terms? So that's the first. Can we combine like terms? Do we understand what addition is? Do we understand what the equal sign is? And then can we do division? So these are the these are the ba basically do we understand the four operations and the equal sign? So that's what it's looking for. So I want to know what we know, but there's so much more to this. So X could be, who knows what X is? Does anybody know? Can you tell me what X is? Who's the youngest person there? Variable that stands for uh, Heidi, four. <laughs> Heidi, can you tell me what X is? No. <laughs> what did she say? Is it a letter? Yeah. Do you know what X is? It's a letter. It's a letter. Okay. Do you know what it means? It's a letter. Do you know what it means in math? When we see X in math, no. do you know what that means? What? <laughs> did you say, I don't know? <laughs> Yeah. You said that is the answer. She said That's I forget. The, oh, I forget. I thought she said I don't know. <laughs> well, if you said I don't know, that's the answer. <laughs> this X means I don't know. We don't know what it is. It's a perfect <laughs> Isn't that great? X means I don't know. What we want to do. So we're going to just pick up some rods and we're going to say, if we have seven I don't knows and three I don't knows, how many I don't knows do we have? All so right. we can pick up any rods. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out. So let's say, what color rod should we use? 
Who wants to pick a color? We got white or red or green. What or color purple. should we use for this one? I'm gonna do white because there's a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of Mm. There's a lot of white. So let's put them together. All right. I'm going to put them there. And everybody put your whites. If you want to use a different color, go ahead and use a different color. It doesn't matter. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to make a train. And so when I say a train, I mean that my rods are end to end. Now you really can't tell end to ends on whites, but you can tell end to ends on red. So where we put the short side, the end of the rods together, that's end to end. But on white, all sides are ends, so it doesn't matter. But on a red, so we're going to put our rods end to end, and that makes a train. So we have a train of, of whites that's seven whites long and a train that is three whites long. And then we're going to say, when we say plus... When we say plus here, that means we're going to shove the two trains together. So if you shove your, your, your train of seven and your train of three, how many, how many rods does that make together? How long is it? I don't need to know how many. How long is it? How long is this one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you're doing algebra, high school algebra. So we have seven whites and three whites. That makes ten whites. How long is ten whites? Can you find another one rod? Give me one rod that is as long as ten whites. And every and everybody can do this. Who can find? So if you used a different color, I need you to find the length of your rods. If we can do that, please. So if you used a different color. What color did you get, Levi? Uh, orange. Orange. All right. So you have orange. Let's see. I use more than 10 whites, obviously. Oh, I lost my rods. Let me go back to my maths. Hold on. All right. Let me put this up. I'm going to put this up here. Okay, this is my internet connection is on this stable. We'll see what happens. All right. So we said that seven of the whites plus three whites equals an orange. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put them, we see there that here, that they're the same length. Do you see what this is? Does, does this remind you of anything? This is an equal sign. Who sees that? Can I see the equal sign? Okay. Yep. All right. So that's what we mean. We mean that when we say equal, I don't mean they look the same. What I what I mean is that they're the same length. So, and that means that or the same quantity. So that's what equal means. Equal means that this thing here and this thing here are the same even though they don't look the same. So what we want to do, so we said, well, that seven whites and three whites are the same as, I'm going to put it up here, orange. Right? And we write this, we say equal, we, we, we just make a line here. There's two line segments and they're the same length. That's, so it looks kind of like this, right? That just means equal. It means this stuff here and that it's, orange this stuff and this stuff is same all right so let's let's find other ways to say orange using just whites are there other ways that we could say it hmm. 
what could you say? It's orange equals 10 whites. Oh, we could say orange Six. equals 10 whites. What else could we say? Orange equals six whites plus four whites. Orange equals six whites plus four whites. Now, is that true? So here's the thing. We need to make sure that our youngest brothers and sisters believe that that's true. So what happens if we make a train? And this is much easier for you to do. So let's make a train of six whites and four whites and smush them together and see if that's still an orange. Can you count, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then let's look over here. Seven. Let's start down here. One, two, three, four. Now, if we smush them together, is that still this ten white? Yes. Okay. It is. So we. Can, so I wonder. Mm -hmm. Who wonders? Could we do? If like if we had a train of eight whites and two whites, if we smushed those together, would they still be orange? If you tell me yes, then I'll write it down. Did eight and two work for ten? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could do eight whites and two whites smushed together and make orange. All right. Are there other ways we could make orange? Yep. What's another one? Seven and three. So seven and seven whites and three whites. So if this were me at home, this is what I would be doing. Um, if I were at your house, I would have nine and one. Oh, hold on. Yep, nine and one. Just wait a second. The job that I'm doing of writing on the board. Nine whites plus one white would be the job of your older kids. So that would, so the, so we have the younger ones we're building and when they get okay. tired, they can leave, you know, that we're, we're done. They can leave because um, you can break this into several days for them, but the older ones are writing this down so that we understand when we transfer to this, what it is that we're talking about. What is it? What is this? This is an I don't know. It could be anything, but it's actually something specific because it says 40. So we do need to find out how much that is. But first, we need to know that we understand what this means. And basically, we have two quantities we're smushing together and they equal something else. So <clears throat> we have mm -hmm. this. We could do this. There's lots of ways we could write this. There's like, can we break it into more pieces? Can I do like two whites plus three whites plus five whites? Is that still 10? Like if we had a train of two and three and five and we smush those together, is that still an orange? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. So we want to practice how, so the, one of the things we're going to do is just practice writing this as many ways as we can. Okay. Because we want to get really fluid using the the symbols. All right. So then the next thing we're going to do is, okay, so what happens because X is an I don't know, it could be any number. Let's change the number of what. So we have up here, we're going to just put this one here and we're going to compare and see what happens. All right. Let's change our whites to reds. And let's see if we can do with reds what we can do with whites. Let's just see if we can do that. So let's say we have a train of seven reds and three reds. And what does seven reds and three reds make? Is it what length is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three. And then let's smoosh them together. And do we still get 10? Is it 10 or is it more than that? More. How many more? No, wait, wait, wait. We still have, wait, 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 wait. The orange is a length. It's not 10. 
Do we still have 10? So up here we had 10 whites. Do we still have 10 red? We'll have 10 red if we smush them together. Yeah. Yes. So we so we had yeah. 10, so seven red and three or seven white and three white make 10 white. And seven red and three red make 10 red. All right, can we do with the reds what we did with the whites? Can we break them apart? So can we do five reds and five reds? Is that still 10 red? Mm. If you break them apart. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. All right. So five red. So we have, so we have, uh, so we have some number. So let's say 10, we're going to put 10 red at the top because that's the total we have right now. So five red plus five red is indeed 10 red. And we said that seven red plus three red is 10 red. Can we check? Can somebody check and see for me? if six red and four red are still 10 red. Because we said six whites and four whites were 10 whites. Mm -hmm. How's it look based on this? Is okay. six red plus four red still 10 red? Um, if you smash those together? Yes. So we got six red plus four red. All right, um, so let's see how long is six red plus four red and seven red and three red and five red and five. How long is this? So put your rods up. Tell me how long it is. It'll be negative with other rods. How many is it? Two oranges. It's two oranges. Huh. All right, let's try greens. Let's just check. Because we won't have to check eventually. We're just going to just make sure. So we found that the whites, we could break apart the whites. And it doesn't matter how many ways we break it apart. That we can we can separate them. And five whites and five whites is still ten whites. And five reds and five reds is ten reds. Seven reds and three reds is ten reds. But let's just check and see if, um, say, so who's the youngest? What's your name again? The youngest or the second youngest? Levi. Do you, okay, do you think that- Levi is seven. Okay, so Levi, do you think that six green and four green will be 10 green? If we do this again with green, is it still gonna work? Mm -hmm. If we have six and four and we push it together, will it still be 10? Mm -hmm. Say that out loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just check and make sure. Let's just check and make sure. And tell me if it is. And if it is, I think we probably don't have to check any more colors. And then we can just go ahead and build and see how, what happens when we change the, the rods, how the length. So is six red and, or six green and four green? We can have the youngest one do this just so she knows. Is it really true? Is it really still 10? Levi, is it still 10 if you have six and four and smash them together? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so let's put greens up here. So we know that we can separate these. And so with addition, we can, <laughs> we can break it up. We can break up addition and we can smush it back together. And does it matter how we break it up and smush it back together? Is it still always going to be the same amount? Or does it, or do you think it only works with 10? No. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I think it's always going to be the same. So let's do, do one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. Let's, so how long do you think that 10, if, if 10 whites are one orange and 10 reds are two orange, how long is 10 light greens going to be? Levi, if 10 whites was one orange and 10 reds was two orange, how long, how many oranges is 10 green going to be? Third. 
Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Three. Well, you can always check and find out. So you have three. So can we can we make a prediction about the so we so let's look at the rods and let's order them for size. And let's just rotate this. So the next largest rod, what is the next largest rod after green? After green, what comes next? Oh, careful. Um, green, dark green. Okay, so hold on. So let's do this. So how long? Let's do. So I'm going to just. We're going to make some predictions over here. I'm going to erase this, and we're going to make some predictions. All right. So we said that. All right. Uh. All right, we said that 10 white equals orange. And then we said that 10 red equals two. I'm gonna say two, and I'm gonna use this symbol here, or we're gonna read that symbol that says of. Okay, we, what does that symbol mean? Uh, of, and that just tells us this one says 10, and we could put that here. We could put that symbol here too, and we could put that symbol here. It says we have 10 of the whites, and we have 10 of the reds. This one is 10 of, or this one is two of the oranges, and I and I, I don't want to put them together because it looks like 20. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that symbol here, and we would read that up. So we have two of the oranges, and then... 10 of the greens, light greens, equals how many of the oranges? So we said three of the oranges. So 10 of the purple, that's this next size up, is how, what do you think that's going to be? Two of the oranges, three of the oranges, what's this thing going to be? Are you sh are you sure? Do you want to check and make sure? That didn't sound like you were very sure. You sounded like you might be sort of sure. I'm gonna pull ten purple in a row and see if it equals four oranges. When you know for sure, tell me what to write. I do the same. Yep. Okay. So four of the oranges. Do we see a pattern? This is one of the oranges, two of the oranges, three of the oranges, four of the oranges. Let's go up one more step and say yellow. Ten yellow equals how many of the oranges? How many ten yellow? Four would be. Oranges is that? Um, 10. Well, it's 10 yellow. Yeah. Uh, so, so if 10 yellow, one, two, five. three, four, five. So, five. All right. So, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep going because I will run out of room. You, you guys can keep playing with this. So, <laughs> five of the oranges. 
So we had, um, if, so this is for your older ones who have numbers and I wouldn't do this if this, I would like to drop it after because I wouldn't do a number total um, for the younger kids mm -hmm. because they haven't dealt with the numbers yet. But if we have an older one and if white, if we measure the orange with the white, hold on one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, right. Hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have one, two, three, four, but obviously I don't have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these should be right here. Obviously, I have something missing. There we go. Eight. Nine, ten. All right. So we had a so we had your sister had in her book, she had she said it was uh what was it? It was seven X, seven number that we seven of something plus three of something equals forty. Who can find me the line where it says seven of something? plus three of something is the same as, oh, I don't have every line up here. We forgot pink. So be, don't cheat. Don't, or you can look at your own. <laughs> you have built them all. If you've built them all, or I will put the pink up there. One, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, we said that was four, right? Let's see if that's true. Yep, it is. All right. So which one is seven of something plus three of something is 40? Okay, so Piper, which one is seven of something plus three of something is 40? Um, let's see, probably purple, right? Purple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, the, the, getting the right answer here, mom, is is not important. What we want is to not be, we want to be creative and then make as many ways of saying this as we can. So we're going to look at, we would say four oranges, and then I would probably replace these with other rods so that we can see. So we got, so we can say it's four oranges, but we said we could break up these oranges, like we could break them up. So let's say, uh, let's do, uh, let's do this. And we, so we said, let's do this one. We had, we said that seven, I'm going to tidy this. Hold on. Let's tidy this. And I'm going to erase. And by the way, we have skipped a truckload of skills. We just, I like, we just gave you a, a crash, your little one's a crash course. <laughs> There's a lot of skill skipping here. So hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we said that seven, uh, seven. We found it was the pink. The the the. I don't know. Seven of something was pink. So let's just start with it. We said seven of the pink plus three of the pink is the same as uh, four orange. Right, four of the orange. We agree that we all agree on that. I'll put that up there just to make sure that we agreed. One, let me find it. One, three, two, three, three, one, two. It's not putting it up. Let's try again. Oh, I'll just have to do it this way. One, two. 
three, four. Do we, so do we agree that seven pink and three pink is four orange? Yes. Okay. So can we also say that seven pink and three pink is the same as eight yellow? Eight yellow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I say that seven pink and three pink is the same as five yellow and two of the oranges? That's two oranges. Um, to make to make four uh, seven plus three pink purple. Seven. Okay, and we can just to check, let's check and make sure. Let's pull these out and just see if I can make that work. Is it the same? I'm sorry, it's not five because there's only eight. I'm wrong. See, that's why you have to check. And you have to check moms because mm -hmm. I'm just telling you guys, like moms gave birth to kids and when we give birth to kids, they put a hose up to our heads and they suck out brain cells. So you have to babysit mom sometimes because <laughs> they make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so, just let you know, mom, am I right? <laughs> they suck. They, you, they, they, when you go to the hospital, yes. they put a hose in your so head true. and they suck your brain shells out. <laughs> All right. So is seven pink and three pink the same as four yellow and two yellow? Four yellow and two orange. Four. four yellow and two orange. Would that work? Mm. Piper? Um, four yellow and two orange. Yes, it would work. All right. So your younger ones, so your youngest can be mixing and matching, and your older ones, once we have introduced symbols, can be writing them down. But do you see, like, this is the same stuff that's okay. in her book. We just replaced it with X's and other right. letters. It's the same exact thing. But what we want to do is understand how, like, we want to build our own expressions before we look at somebody else's so that we can see how they work. Okay. And so there's nothing particularly difficult about this, except for writing the symbols down. Like, there's nothing hard. Your four-year-old can do algebra. Mm -hmm. like, she can't. The, the, the issue that she's going to find is having to write the symbols down and then having to be being sure what these symbols mean. And your oldest one is having trouble because she's not sure what the symbols mean either. And so, or how to mm -hmm. manipulate them. So when she's looking at an expression, she can't see, like she doesn't see what that means by looking at it. And so mm -hmm. we have to follow, we have to follow all the rules instead of being able to manipulate this stuff in your mind. So you can do this, you can write it down, but how many more ways? You guys could just take this one expression, the seven P and the three P, and you can change out these rods, change out these rods, and then you can change out these rods. And how many ways can you write this same thing? How many ways? And so your youngest one can be building the trains. They had, The thing is, so here's the rule she has to keep. Everybody has to keep this rule. So you can't lose any rods. So they have to stay this long. And she might have to check if she switches rods in and out, right? You can't lose mm -hmm. any and you can't slip any in either. That's cheating, right? Because then the equal sign isn't true anymore. <laughs> like you can't, you can't. We can we can change them out and we can put them in, but there's rules. And the rules it the rule is that this equal sign has to stay true. It can't lie. The equal sign doesn't lie. Okay. And so if the equal sign lies, we have a problem. <laughs> All right. So we can't lose any and we can't gain any. So she can she can look at that and figure out if they're equal or not and put rods in and out. 
and your older ones can be writing them down. So you've got some difference in there, which we can easily do difference. Mm -hmm. um, but you could you have enough right here with just addition for quite a while on how you can write because you've got both addition and multiplication sitting here. Right. Um, yeah. And then the question is, um, how do we add difference? And I do want to just because um, and if you look at Gitanio, he just gives you these exercises and he doesn't like there's not mm -hmm. a lot of background on what it is that you're doing or why you have to read like 50 other books. <laughs> so if you do, hey, this, it's so confusing. <laughs> uh, well, it, I, I, if you look at my guides, I, there's a huge warning there about like, listen, this is extremely frustrating implementing this because he's not clear on what it is you're doing. But if you do the notice, wonder, discover boot camp, and you just look at this and say, hey, what's happening and what can we do? What happens if we change something? So like, that's like, that's always in the back of my head. What happens to how, like, so the, your youngest one is just going to notice what happens. Hey, I can switch out this one for this one. And she's going to just be busy making things equal. Like, because she has to wrap her head around what equal means. And that's super important because it, I, I taught a whole class of like fourth through sixth graders in several years in our homeschool co-op. And every year we would start out with, I would say, what does the equal sign mean? And every single, well, the new kids always coming in would say that this right here is a signal. Like in some way, they would say this. It's a signal to write the answer down. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or they would say it makes something. Like if they would say, well, it's like if you put a, a seven there and a, and a two there, like that it makes nine. So, so seven and two do not make nine. Seven and two do not become nine. Seven and two uh, don't add up to nine. A seven and two is another name for nine. They are nine. Yeah. It's the same thing. And so, so what your daughter is going to do, the youngest one is going to be working for quite a while, weeks probably, on what this whole idea of equal means. She's going to have to, when we introduce subtraction, we're going to have to come up with a new understanding of equal. So as we, so like we want, so that when we get to be in high school and we're starting algebra, we're not confused about the equal sign and like right. what's happening. All right. Mm -hmm. So we want to clean up some of the issues that your oldest daughter's having. And one of the ways to do that is just write a lot of expressions and it's more fun. So we can, it's more fun writing your own than it is trying to figure out someone else's way more fun, right? Cause you're, mm -hmm. and your kids are going to write way more complicated expressions. Like your four-year-old's going to write way more complicated expressions than are ever going to show up in an algebra book. Right. Way more complicated. Your four-year-old will write them as she <laughs> goes on. All right. So that's what we want to do. We want to let her switch them out. And then if you, then your oldest ones have to figure out how they're going to say what she did. They're going to have to figure out how to write what she did. And you guys can all, and then when she gets bored, you can leave and the oldest ones can sit down. It does, so it doesn't matter to me. Like at this point, if you watch the algebra before arithmetic um, workshop, one of the things that um, John Trivet, John Mason, uh, are one of the things that they do is they actually don't let kids do the calculations. You may okay. write, you may write because what happens is the focus suddenly just becomes on how do I get the right answer mm -hmm. instead of the process. So what we want, what we're doing is we're focusing on the result of our reasoning rather than the process of our reasoning. And so once we start, once we focus on that, like the whole, like all, the, how did you get here and what's happening is gone. All right. So, right. so we can write like what we would do, you know, so if I had this one, we have seven X plus three X equals 40. I would say, well, I would divide 40 by 10. That's what I would do. 40 divided by 10. Uh -huh. And then I would just leave it. Leave it. I'm not going to do the calculation. Just I'm going okay. to divide 40 by 10 because we want it because we want her to focus on what's what what's going on here. 
And then later we can find an answer. We want them yeah. to find right answers, but not at the expense of like not understanding what it is that you're doing. So if all okay. we're doing is following the algorithm, right, to get to the end of the page, uh -huh. that doesn't mean that she understands. And how you know she understands is when she can do, when she right. can write 20 of these, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. You don't really have to plug in, you know, four in the X places. You just leave it at, you know, whatever. Would you just use the color number? I mean, if it's seven. Well, so, plus yeah. 80, so the, the, it's really easy to do it with, um, it's really easy to do with the colors because you can look up and you can see, is this thing still equal, right? We can check. We can check the thing that we did. Uh -huh. Is this expression that I wrote still true? Is the equal sign still true? Without having to do any calculations at all. 